Hi, I'm Dr. David Cathcart. I am a family practice physician at Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri. And I've been asked to talk to you today about thyroid disease. Okay, I'm gonna talk just a little bit about uh, the m medical side of thyroid. Uh, again, what usually happens is when someone gets autoimmune thyroid disorder, it's usually a condition called Graves' disease. There's another one called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. But essentially what happens is your thyroid uh, starts to overfunction. It starts putting out too much thyroid hormone and it makes your heart race, you tend to lose weight, your hair may start falling out, skin gets kind of oily, uh, people get sweaty. That disorder can be not only make one feel terrible, uh, but it also can be dangerous for your heart. And so what we tend to do typically is treat that with a medication called radioactive thyroid uh, sorry, radioactive iodine. It's called I-131, which is basically is, a, is an isotope of iodine. And you take one or two of those pills, of this radioactive, thiod uh, radioactive iodine, and it literally uh, is taken up in the thyroid gland and the radioactivity uh, destroys much of the overactive thyroid tissue. You know, when we eat salt, uh, most of our salt is iodized and I meaning it has iodine put in the salt. Iodine is an important part of our diet because if we didn't have that our thyroid wouldn't function well and that is the whole reason why we have iodized salt. Well I-131 or the iodized uh, or the radioactive isotope of iodine is taken up by the thyroid because it thinks it's iodine and it wants to make thyroid hormone out of it but once it gets in there the thyroid is tricked and it, and it burns off or kills much of the uh, overactive thyroid tissue that's causing the problem. Now the thyroid starts to quit producing so much thyroid hormone. If, unless, it's, unless you give just the right amount, the thyroid may quit functioning altogether. Consequently, what we do about that then is give people back thyroid hormone as a pill. Uh, there's various brand names on the market, but essentially it's just a thyroid replacement hormone <clears throat> that you take one a day. Back in the old days of treating this, what we used to try and do is give just the right amount of radioactive thyroid, or that I-131, to just turn the thyroid down so it won't produce so much hormone. That became too difficult and it became much easier just to control the thyroid by turning the thyroid completely off by giving enough I-131 to kill all the remaining thyroid tissue so it doesn't produce too much anymore, and then just supplement uh, uh, someone's thyroid hormone needs with pills. The great thing about it is it's very easy to control, the medicine is very cheap, and it works beautifully. So that's pretty much the medical information on thyroid. This is Dr. Cathcart, and thanks for letting me talk to you about thyroid disorders.